Hello everybody. Um, one last video before I hit the road. Um, it's uh, late on Friday and I'm just trying to wrap a whole bunch of stuff up before um, this trip to Germany and the UK hits me. Um, um, so I said I wasn't going to be able to get uh, more books out after a certain date, but I'm actually, uh, anything that's been ordered through now, I've got enough books in from create space that I'm going to get everything out on Monday. So books will keep trickling your way while I'm overseas. And today I've got, uh, quite, uh, quite an unboxing to do. So I, I recently unveiled the paperback from Simon and Schuster and I had not seen the hardback yet. And I just got in this, this is going to probably drive some of you crazy. Um, two boxes of the hardbacks. Now, before you say, what, can I get one right now? Uh, I don't even get to keep any of these. Like, I don't even have my own version yet. Um, I ha have to sign these and then ship them back to Simon & Schuster for, um, I don't know who they're for. I think they go to bribe people at bookstores or um, maybe they're all for, for John Carp or something. I don't know. So this is really cool. All each of these uh, books has been different, and this is um, so. The other one was kind of was paper on board. The one with Random House and Simon and Schuster went with a dust jacket. <laughs> I've seen this for the first time. That is so slick. So I can't show you my bookshelf because I'm taking all my books off of it, but. I used to take dust jackets off and throw them away with my hardback, so that's going to kill some of you to hear that. But I loved this on my bookshelf, and so I would, uh, oh, it's embossed. All right. I hope I hope there's a bunch of you who haven't bought any of these hard, like any kind of physical edition, so you can get these. For those of you who bought other editions, I don't, please don't buy this one, too. Like, you don't have to own every single one that comes out, but I have to say, that is pretty slick. Um, I don't know if you can see how embossed this is, but oh my goodness! See, I would, I would just throw the dust jacket away and stick that on my shelf just like that. But I won't for this one because it's got to go back to somebody. So let me show you the uh, the dust jacket. It's very, very slick. It's got a matte finish, which I like, and it's got the raised uh, lettering on it, um, on my name and on the title. This is really insane to think that, um, I don't know, that this is going to be in, in bookstore. Actually, I think most bookstores will, will carry the paperback, but if you want the hardback, you can go in, into a bookstore and say you want the hardback and they'll, um, they'll get it for you. So we got uh, Justin Cronin's blurb on the front New York Times bestseller it looks just like the paperback the big difference is you've got room for the blurb on the inside jacket um, and Kathy Reichs that makes it look like I'm some kind of an author I should tell you the story behind this photograph so Amber and I were in uh, New York uh, God, what was this? Over uh, like a year and a half ago, we were. Um, I was watching a friend's apartment and and their cat for a couple of weeks, so we uh, saved a lot of money by you know living someplace for free at the time. I mean, uh, I was making ten bucks an hour, thirty hours a week shelving books, so we couldn't really afford to to uh, go all out. But since we had this guy's apartment, um, we were able to eat out. You know more than I normally would, and we went to a whole bunch of shows by camping out and getting rush tickets, which could be like twenty bucks for great seats. And so while we were uh, in New York, I said we should go into one of these really fancy uh, hotels and just sit and have a coffee. And I think cup, like two cups of coffee, and they came in china uh, glasses, but two cups of coffee for the two of us was like over twenty bucks, and. That, I know that's ridiculous, and it was ridiculous to this to us then, but we got to like sit in this lobby and watch 
rich people come and go and you know have coffee which I'll, I'll be honest it was a, amazing coffee and uh, and we <laughs> and I was in this crazy green velvet chair reading my New York Times and Amber just says look up and then and there's like this fancy uh, flower on the table and so when someone needed an author photo of me I was going through my pictures I was like it looks like I write books in that picture and it was just totally us pretending to be jet setting for like I, I think we hung out there for like at least half an hour just taking tiny sips of our coffee so that we could look like we belong there but of course we didn't like we belong there <laughs> we, everyone could tell we were yahoos so that's cool all these hardbacks all get signed and then sent off and hopefully well, I've already pre-ordered a copy on Amazon, so I know I'll get at least that edition. But I don't get to keep any of these. So don't email me asking for one. I don't even have one. All right. If you thought that was cool, I'm saving the... I've got two other things to show you here. I'm, I'm going to order them, so I saved the, my favorite for the last. So, okay. Uh, I should really pull out my old editions. Um, yeah, I'll show this first. So this was the book that started it all. That's Amber, and that's me. <laughs> and this is uh, the first Molly Fied book that came out from Norlite's Press uh, in 2009. And yeah, see, not not quite the same author photo. Um, so that book came out yeah, a while back, and. I'm going to show you this other cover. So when I republish it myself, massive upgrade uh, in getting rid of me, massive downgrade in getting rid of Amber, so it's kind of a wash. But this was the edition that if you order right now, you would get um, from uh, a different printer. And um, so that was one of the first books I self-published. And this was my first NaNoWriMo book, Halfway Home, uh, cover uh, photography by Natalie Huggins. If you ordered Halfway Home right now, you would get, uh, from Amazon or anybody, you would get this edition. Now, I, I wrote, I've fallen in love with CreateSpace. They do all of my, um, like this just came in from CreateSpace. This is more of the Shift Omnibus. I'll unpack these and get those out to people who ordered them here tonight. And I've, I've loved CreateSpace so much that I want to take um, the five books that I have with them now, which are the four Molly Fied books and Halfway Home, and move them over to CreateSpace. So I had um, the in, I did a, an edit in the interior um, using CreateSpace's uh, unbelievable editorial services. It this is it was indistinguishable from what I've seen from um, working with Random House and Simon Schuster and I found out why they use a lot of freelancing from people who have done that work and so the um, the editorial letter I would get and all the feedback and there's I mean it wasn't just copy editing it's it's uh, or line editing it's um, story and uh, you know plot and character development and just really really blown away by that whole process I'm gonna write up more about it once I'm I'm finished with the with the transition. So then I had Mike Tabor come up with a cover for Halfway Home, and he came up with this excellent like this burning leaf and this puddle and there's three faces in the reflection, and on the back you have this um, in in the reflection of the water is people running. So it's just like that scene from the um, the vats in the very beginning, and so this and the I, I let create space do the pagination they came up with this great layout uh i love the the font choices uh, it's a proof copy so it'll only be one of these so i got to go through this and and read over it i love that splash page so there's gonna be a new um edition of halfway home and that's basically to get it to this new printer it's um I like this smaller uh, form factor rather than the six by nine, so five by eight. And they didn't have that option when I went with this printer. So um, very excited about that. Now, save the best for last. Let's see. Let's 
see the poster. This is the poster from Jasper has been behind me for a while. That's my Mike Tabor, Juliet, and then the wool cover that Jasper did. This gone. This video has gone on too long, and not enough Bella in it. So everybody's probably tuned out by now. But I'm so proud of this. I'm proud of this because I had the least amount to do with it. This is the new Molly Fi book. Can you believe how that looks? This is Jasper's cover. Now Jasper, I've done some a writing uh, on him uh, on my blog. He has he does um, ads for Fortune 500 companies. He's designed currency for Fiji. The guy is way too talented to be wasting his time with my work. Uh, if his wife is watching, she's in agreement with me. She's, I think, given Jasper a hard time for slumming it with my stuff. So I'm so sorry. I don't know what's gotten into him. But he, I mean, I never I never saw Molly until Jasper sent me this artwork. He sent me this out of the blue. He sent me this and the wool, you know, both of those posters. And so I said, Jasper, what do I have to do to... Uh, get three more covers out of you so I can do my whole series with, with your covers and get, get my horrible covers off there. So he's, he's doing that. I've already got the Land of Light artwork and he's going to do two more covers. So, I mean, it, I just can't believe this, this, to me, this is just a work of art. When you see, it's hard to see it close up, just the, that's Anlin. And you see the emotions in Molly's face that, that, I don't know, it's, it's like a, he captured her perfectly. This wistful, um, it's not sad, not lonely, but this it can, almost like a contentment. Um, it, it It's very moving. When I first saw this, man, I'm, Amber was there and I, I showed it to her and I was like just tearing up seeing this for the first time. And then on the back, there's an author photo he did of me and it's kind of blue and like I'm in the same in the in a spaceship and then this other portrait of Molly and on the back of the land of light Molly is it's her f face and she's got the wadi curled around her neck it's unbelievable so this is the new um, Molly Fide book once I get it to the new printer and because it'll be with create space if they do it like they've done it with wool they'll do some discounting and you'll be able to get this for for a song, um, again, I love the new size. I think this is like better than mass market and better than trade paper, something in between. And it makes reading easy, but it's also not not too large of a of a paperback. So excited about this! Again, like this is the proof copy, and sadly, I have to go through these and read them and and look for any changes. So they're going to get absolutely destroyed, but they'll be the only ones like this ever made and then once I okay them we'll see um, new additions on uh, so if you've got the, the Natalie Huggins one uh, you're um, I, I love this cover and I love her her photography so I'm always going to treasure my my addition to this if you have a copy of the Molly 5 with my ugly mug on it I'm so sorry <laughs> I can't believe I ever put that thing out and uh, yeah, people try to talk me out of it, but I don't know. I saw, you know, the whole story is was inspired by the boat travels that, that Amber and I did together, so the idea of having us on the cover, uh, I never thought anybody would actually read it besides, like, my mom and my wife, so it seems safe. And, all right, so that's it. So I've got hardbacks. Um, I've got piles of books over here that I'm going through, and I'm going to get more signed and packed up and shipped off and then I'm gonna go to Germany I've got like four interviews on one day one um, on TV and I think the other three on radio and then a interview with the newspaper or magazine the next day like like every hour is blocked out and um, so um, I've got that and then I've got a free day in Berlin which I'm looking forward to and then I fly to the UK and I have no idea what they've got planned for me there, but um, uh, we're going to do some events in London and then go to the Weekender, which is a sci-fi conference in uh, North Northern Wales. Going to uh, Dublin for a day in order to do an interview 
I think I'm doing like four different BBC radio interviews, and uh, so I'm gonna. I'm already just nervous thinking about it. So, and then I'll get home and go on the Simon and Schuster circuit, starting with South by Southwest in Austin, and then we hit a whole bunch of cities. There's a calendar on my website if you can see if you want to see um, how close I'm coming to your hometown. And so, and I'm uh, today's the 15th, and in a month the the book will be out in U.S. stores. And man, I've got lots to do between now and then. So. Exciting stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching 15 minutes of me showing you books that, uh, I, I mean, I've just, this is all beyond my wildest uh, expectations or dreams. So thank you, every one of you, for, for what you've done. Thanks to all the people who come to my blog and, and leave comments and the people in the forums and everybody on Facebook and, and Twitter. Uh, it, it really, it's why I'm at 8.40 at night on Friday still just you know with several hours more work to do excited to be doing all this and uh, so I thank you from the bottom of my heart you've, you've really made the last year of my life just unbelievable and I'm gonna keep doing whatever I can to to give back just a little bit uh, with my time and energy to you guys so thanks so much and uh, uh, Avita Zane and I'll see you uh, might check in from um, Germany or the UK if I can but no guarantees so uh, take care alright see ya